actually, if you go back to World Cup 2010 in South Africa, England were dumped out of the competition by a pretty average Germany team. And watch that game again. Germany targeted John Terry. He's an, he was an absolute, sh he had a shocker of a game. And the reason why they targeted him is because they knew that he was not top, top, top draw. Well, it's kicking off a little bit online between John Terry and Rio Ferdinand uh, in a poll of who they thought were the best centre-backs in Premier League history. Uh, Rio was placed above John Terry. John Terry was fifth. Um, it was Ferdinand, Vidic, Van Dijk, Yapstam, and then uh, Terry. And Terry's fired back with uh, saying that stats don't lie. And he also thinks that maybe Rio's got a problem with him due to the racism case and the allegations of racism against uh, his brother Anton Ferdinand. And do you know what? Like, I've always thought that John Terry was really overrated. And the reason why is that he's a kind of a he's a kind of a match of the day player because he had a lot of like last minute tackles, last minute blocks, and that's actually the sign of a really poor defender. Like how many times did you see Paolo Maldini making last ditch tackles or Barese? They didn't because they had positional sense. And actually, you know, obviously he played in some really good teams and he and he's a really He's a bit of a PR merchant, John Terry, really. Like, he's got this kind of, like, British bulldog spirit. But he's, he wasn't a top defender. He was a very good Premier League defender, John Terry. But he wasn't top. And I'll, I'll stand by that. And I've said it for a long, long time. He had some really good partners with him. Like, uh, Ricardo Carvalho was a top defender, by the way. He was absolutely, like, a king of shithousery. You know, pretty quick. Pretty good positional sense. He was a top centre-back, centre the Portuguese player. But... I don't think Terry was, and oh, but obviously, obviously Terry, I don't know, there's something about Terry, um, you know, there really is something about Terry, and that I just dislike, obviously it's about Man United, but I just think he's a prick, like, I think he's a scally prick, and he's just, you know, he called Anton a fucking black cunt, and... Uh, you know the fact he didn't get fined well he got fined 220 grand he got a four match ban but the fact that, the, that they didn't throw the book at him just showed how institutionally racist the FA are and they think it's it's acceptable and he, he obviously got off on a technicality but uh, he's, he's, a, he's a piece of shit and I just don't like him and he suits Chelsea but yeah whatever but yeah it's going to rumble on I back Rio all the way Rio was a Rolls Royce of a player absolute Rolls Royce of a defender there's absolutely no doubt about it and he's up there all time he's up there he's probably Man United's second best defender ever if you put Yapstam up there you might want to put Duncan Edwards but he was before my time and globally Rio's up there there's no doubt about it like John Terry's not fit to lace his boots absolutely not fit to